Welcome. Welcome to Covering the Basis with the Mets. I'm Teresa Aronson from the St. Lucie County Chamber of Commerce. I am here with my co-host, as always, the one, the only, Lauren Diacides. Um, I feel like I'm really short. I feel like she's much higher. Do I have my white thing under me? Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> I'm just really throwing me off. You look very tall. <laughs> Sorry. Like Lauren Diacides from the Mets. Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe you're sitting up straight. I don't know what it is. Can I get a booster seat? <laughs> Yeah. It just caught me off. Um, of course, the Mets uh, sponsor the show every single month, and we feature a local youth athlete, and we have just one of those with us today. Um, Jacqueline. Jacqueline's last name is Dyer, and she is from Lincoln Park Academy. Welcome to the show, Jacqueline. Thank you. And um, Jacqueline was... Um, she was nominated by Michelle Franklin, our property appraiser. Oh, and so I knew when Michelle nominated her, she played volleyball for sure, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But I hear your forte is tennis. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about both sports. So I started playing tennis when I was seven, and that was kind of like the sport that stuck with me because I tried a bunch of sports when I was younger. But then I started getting good at it, and my younger brother started playing with me as well. So it was kind of like both of our things for a long time. Um, and then I got really good at that and then I started taking breaks over the summer kind of because it was really hot <laughs> and then yeah. I would play volleyball kind of like as an off sport and I was JV my first year in ninth grade and then I got moved up to varsity and then I played varsity all three years of high school after that. Oh wow, for the tennis team or for, for volleyball. volleyball. But I was, I, for tennis I was varsity from eighth grade all the way to twelfth grade. Oh nice. I know. Which do you like better? Definitely tennis. I Definitely just, tennis. More experience. Do yeah. you plan to play tennis in college? I do. I have committed to Kaiser University for oh, this fall. Very awesome. good. So Kaiser down south, right? Cause, yeah, or, in West Palm. Yeah, very good. Are you familiar with that campus, Lauren Kaiser? No. Yeah. <clears throat> I know they have, you know, the more sports growing down there. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what league do they play in, do you know? I think, I'm not entirely sure. I've had, like... I'm trying to look it up. I think it's yeah. maybe D3, somewhere in, in CIA or something. Very <laughs> I'm not good. entirely sure yet. You're very tall. Maybe that's why I feel so short, <laughs> yeah, is yeah, you're both really very tall, tall today. Yeah. But that's probably great for tennis, right? Mm -hmm, yes. you and volleyball. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, volleyball. <laughs> Always volleyball. And so you go to Lincoln Park Academy, mm -hmm. right? And you're a senior? I am, yes. Okay. And so when you go to Kaiser, you're going to move down there? Do they have... Yeah, I'm going to be staying in, like, dorm houses there, but it's, like, right outside the tennis court. So, like, they have multiple campuses, I guess, but this one is, like, right by the tennis court, so I'll be right there. Oh, nice. That's perfect. <laughs> and what got you started with tennis? Was Were one of your parents? Um, a big, my mom. She was a tennis And my aunt. Fan. They both played when they were younger. Okay. Have you ever dabbled in tennis? No. Oh. <laughs> no, hard no. Hard no. Yeah. I don't know, but pickleball has become like a huge thing down here. Yeah. So. Well, pickleball, I think, is not as arduous. <laughs> you don't have to be as fast on your feet, right? You kind of. Well, and you play with two well, people? Yeah, two people yeah. usually. Um, so you yeah. play pickleball, do you? Me and my brother have played a little bit, not like any tournaments or anything, but we have a lot of tennis skills, so it carries over a little bit. Mm -hmm. We like to kind of practice around. It's good for like volleying practice a lot because yeah, most cause times you're at the net. It's like tennis, but you know, condensed. <laughs> yeah. Does the mm -hmm. ball bounce in, tick in pickleball? I don't know. Michelle's it's like, been trying to get me to play, and I haven't done it. It's lighter than a tennis ball. It's, you have to kind of move quickly to get under it. But, but are you allowed to bounce it in the court, or there's no bouncing of the ball in the court? In it pickleball? can bounce, yeah. Oh, okay. Just okay. there's like I think there's that front section next to the court. It can't the bounce in that. It's the kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah. Oh, 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 look at you two <laughs> knowing think, the verbiage. Right, I think it can bounce in the kitchen, but you can't like stand in it while you're hitting the ball. Or like right. step into it. There's a lot of different. <laughs> yeah, it was weird learning it for the first time. <laughs> she plays two sports, and we're not talking about either. Of them. <laughs> we're talking about well, volleyball. <laughs> we're talking about pickleball, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> and in tennis here, where are their courts? I know there's a few courts at Ravenswood. Where do you um, typically play? I play in Jensen Beach at North River Shores Tennis Club. That's where mm. I've been like my whole life, basically. And I played a little bit in um, Legacy, I think. It's in more like West Port St. Lucie. It is. It's out oh, it, in the PGA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in PGA St. Lucie West. They do have a few tennis courts out yeah. there. Uh, St. Lucie County is going to be mad at me because I just made her admit she has to go to Jensen Beach to play tennis. Sorry. Lakewood Park. Um, Lakewood Park has a couple. Winter Lakes Park. Yeah, Winter Lakes, I've Ravenswood. But yeah, they're they're public uh, tennis courts, yeah. so that's pretty good. And then. Um, uh, is there any organizations here that play outside of school or just down there? Um, 
Because I'm wondering. Treasure Coast Foundation, their t the Tennis Foundation, is they kind of run with a lot of the high schools here. Um, and me and my brother, we play in a bunch of those tournaments all year round, all the time. Oh, you so do. So we're mostly in that foundation. Okay, that's good. And how, do you know any, we'll have to try to look up some information on that foundation yeah. because I don't think there's any tennis courts at any of the local high schools, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Which ones? Yeah. LPA has a <laughs> tennis court? We have tennis courts, yeah. There's, there's a couple of them. They play at like local parks, but some of them, I think, I think there's a good few that have courts. There are? At okay. least like six or eight, maybe. Oh, very good. All right, so do you get scholarships? Do they do tennis scholarships? I did get a scholarship. It's like not confirmed yet, around one to $2,000 annually. And then I also have academic scholarships going along with that, so. Very oh, nice. good. Bright Futures? No, I have, I have a merit scholarship. I have a couple tennis things. And good. I'm still waiting for another award, I think, soon enough. <laughs> and what do you want to do? Do you want to play tennis or do you? Mm. I think so. <laughs> You're not sure? I just, I want to not be like stuck in like the college strictness kind of. I want to be able to like be free to do whatever I want kind of, but I still want to play tennis a lot. Like I really like the sport. And do you know what you're going to major in? Um, right now, business, trying to do like entrepreneur stuff, maybe online businesses. Very <laughs> no good. No specific ideas yet. <laughs> well, good. Well, thank you for coming today. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. We yeah. appreciate it. It's always nice. So, of course, um, for those of you that are new to the show, the Mets are sponsoring a scholarship for high school seniors. Mm -hmm. It's an athletic scholarship, and we've invited them to Sunrise Theater on April 15th to hand that scholarship out. And, of course, we've already decided for this past year, but you will be in the running for next year to receive yes. that scholarship as well. So even though she'll probably be off to college, it's yeah, just our year. Work. Yeah. Our year works funny. So, yeah. um, but that, but that's pretty exciting. So we appreciate mm -hmm. you coming down, and thanks to Michelle Franklin, our property appraiser, for nominating you. We do have a tough time getting nominations, oddly yes. enough, for our athletes, even though we're trying to give them a scholarship. Um, so if you know anybody and want to be on the show and be in the running for the Mets scholarship for local athletes. You can email us at info at stlucychamber.org, um, info at stlucychamber.org, or go directly to Nash, it's Nashali, N-A-S-H-A-L-Y, at stlucychamber.org, and she's happy to get you signed up and scheduled for the show. So you can come down um, just like Jacqueline did. All right, well, thank, thank you. you. Just hang out with us for just yeah. a second, and we're gonna take a break. Everybody, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Covering the Bases. I want to thank the Mets, of course, for doing this show with us every single month. And um, Jacqueline Dyer was great. She was our Athlete of the Month. We appreciate that. And her parents for bringing her down here, her dad for bringing her down here. And then we have a full audience again, which is really, really nice, too. We're finding that more and more. Plus, um, Jimmy Johns, Bobby yes. Allen, he... Uh, Bobby Malik, Bobby Allen. Bobby, Bobby yeah. Malik owns a couple of Jimmy John's here, but he was formerly a St. Lucie Mets, and we really appreciate him very much. Mm -hmm. So um, either Jimmy John's, Fort Pierce, or St. Lucie West, right, are both Correct. Bobbies. Yep. So, all right. We're going to play a little trivia like we always do. Feel free to play along at home. I'm sure you do. And let's just get it out of the way, KP. <coughs> How many questions do we want to do today? I'm not really sure. We kind of just go by feel. <coughs> sure. All right. Okay, let's start off. With a pretty easy one. <laughs> I feel like she's saying What that. is <laughs> April's birthstone? <laughs> Take a guess. Just guess one. Well, you might you... get it right. Okay. All right. That is correct. It is the diamond. I may or may not have cheated because everybody knows how irritated I get by this. So she's her. Her. Yeah. Hide your board, Lauren. You can't let her look no, at you. Like, they, told her. I, they told me in the audience. I don't love those. That is no secret if you've ever watched this show before. All right. Here's some less of those questions. But the way you're smiling makes me think I'm not, not going to like them just as much. No, there, there's some good ones okay. on here. Okay. First question. Who? Oh, this one's way too easy. <laughs> Who became the first president of the U.S. on April 30th, 1789? Oh. oh. 
Like everybody, we can say that in unison, right? Like we, yeah, I think that's way too easy. On the count of three. One, two, three. George Washington. George Washington. Washington. Okay, yeah. See, I, really I, had to, I was going to have, I had to have gonna, faith gonna, in our gonna, school system. I was going to. So yes, do I knew everybody knew that Bush. one. <laughs> that was way too easy. We went from birthstones to George Washington. Okay. Yep. Okay. Birthstone was easy too. For you, you're born what? in April. Sorry? When is your birthday? April 27th. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's not Earth Date. I'll be Earth Day's mid 30s. Well, finally. that ruined the next question I was going to ask. What annual is event Earth is Day? celebrated <laughs> Earth Day. on April 22nd? That is Earth Day. It is Earth Day. I'm sorry, I gave it away. They, um, Did you already see this list no, of questions? It's no, probably I mean, the same list from last year, honestly. <laughs> we should look back at the questions from last well, year. Well, Jimmy, you would know, I don't think. But yeah, it probably is the same. <laughs> I think we have. You know, similar April questions every year, right? Yeah. Because it's Earth Day every yeah. year. But the Oxbow is doing a great Earth Day festival. So if you're interested in finding things to do, all things Treasure Coast. All right. Also, Keep Port St. Lucie Beautiful is doing an Earth Day something. They are? Yes. Probably like clean up day or yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to be doing other stuff at Oxbow, but you can go clean up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Here is a less easy one. Okay. In 1955, what? which fast food joint first opened its doors on the 15th of April? Like yep, McDonald's it is. There you go. I, I feel like that was easier than I thought. That wasn't it is, too yeah. hard. No. Um, what day? Honoring trees is celebrated in April. These are, um, we all know this one too, right? Yeah. I'm on the count of three? Wow. Arbor Day. Yeah, Arbor Day. We nice. are too. This, these are, except for Diamond, which I cheated on. These have been relatively. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I didn't do these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm way meaner. Uh, you, you typically. Are meaner. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Who, ooh, this one I feel like one of you may get and the other one might not get. Who is the R&B singer known for Ain't No Mountain High Enough that was born on April 2nd? I have no idea. Maybe write your thoughts on a paddle and hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't remember and I can picture him singing it too. I don't know, I, I, no I put idea. Marvin Gaye. That is correct, it is Marvin oh! Gaye. <laughs> I did not know that one. <laughs> I kind of knew it might be right when she said maybe put your thoughts on the paddle. <laughs> okay. Did you always all know that one? Marvin Gaye? Okay. I would not have gotten that. I would not have gotten that at all. Clearly. <laughs> all right. Me and Eric were like, if we ever do the show again, it's like all music trivia. <laughs> we like the music trivia. That's our favorite. Yeah. We're going to do one more. One and it's more. A, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a who gets the closest to the right answer for this one. Oh, it's going to be a numbers guessing game, which is also yes. very difficult. It because is. it's just you pull a number out of your hat and just shove it on the board and hope for the best. Yes. That's usually how that works. All right. Here's the question. Okay. How many jelly beans are made for Easter in the U.S. every year. Oh my God, I feel like this was definitely one of the questions from last year. I feel like it was too. One year, didn't we play a game where we had to taste nasty jelly beans? Yes, and you guess did. the flavor? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you didn't bring that back, but we did my do that. My son loves that Paul game. Paul and I did that yeah, on did. the show one year. Yeah, yeah, I could pull that clip up for sure. Yeah, you, we... Bam, uh, yeah, we, was older. Yeah, we, yeah, we had to spin the thing and then taste it. It'd be like two And then Paul kept getting crappy up. stuff, and I got like <laughs> cotton candy and <laughs> Coke or something. All right, so how many jelly beans are produced each year or each, for? Every year for Easter? in the U.S. for Easter. All, okay. I'm going to go with a billion because those beans are small. It takes a lot of them to fill up a box. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to say... 500 million. Well, both of you are way off, but Teresa's <laughs> closer. The answer is 16 billion. Oh my gosh. 16 billion 16 jelly. That is a lot of cavities, my friend. A lot of jelly beans. That is a, a lot, lot of, of cavities, beans. a lot of sugar. Yes. 16 billion jelly beans. Do you feel like that's everybody gets jelly beans? Who actually eats them, though, really? Nobody. The exactly. Starburst jelly beans. <laughs> the Starburst jelly you beans. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like everybody gets jelly beans every year. All right, so what's going on at the Mets? Um, Spring April, training's wrapped up. 
Done. We're done so. We're um, done so. April 7th, opening night for St. Lucie Mets. Yep. We Very have good. games that weekend, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have the Sunday. 7th, 8th, and 9th. Are our first, that's our first homestand. <clears throat> Very good. And we'll have community nights again. Will we have Bark in the Park? We haven't picked a date. We actually just, the Humane Society reached out to us, so we'll see about that. Um, but we have, what's the Jersey night so for April? We 8th? have um, April 8th, we're doing Donate Life Night. So um, the organ donation groups are coming out um, and we'll have a specialty jersey that day that benefits them. Mm -hmm. um, on April 20, so our second homestand in April is the 20th. Well, it starts the 18th, the 19th, no, the 17th, whatever that Tuesday <laughs> of the weekend of the 21st. We should have pulled out our calendars. <laughs> we're very, we're wildly prepared. <laughs> well, I know the Saturday 18th, is, but 18th. I have to, so yeah. maybe it's go to stapleucmeds.com. No, yeah. April, April 18th to the 23rd, 23rd is, is the next homestand. homestand. Yeah. Um, and the 22nd, that Saturday, is our Marvel Superhero Night. Oh, so that'll be a big one. one. We have yeah. um, the players will be wearing Marvel jerseys. Uh, we'll have Spider Man, the, one of the official Marvel Spider Mans, out doing meet and greets with people. For the kids um, watching, it is actually Spider Man. It's the, yes, oh, it's it Spider, -Man. Spider Man. Yes. It's yes. the official Peter Spider Man. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. And that is um, in partnership with Voices for Children. Okay, so. and that's the Guardians program? Guardians yes. Light. Yeah, yep. Guardians at Lightham. Yep. And then um, May 27th, we're gonna be doing schools out for the summer, you know, Let's Read, and we're partnering mm -hmm. with the Children's Services Council and the Chamber of Commerce. All of, uh, not all of our members, but we're allowing any of our members that want to to have a booth there to do giveaways and mm -hmm. raffles. Plus, you bring a child, and you both get them free, but you have to bring a child. And um, K through 12. K through 12. Yes, yes, K through 12. Yes, yes. We have to define the child. K through 12. And we'll give you some free books. And he thinks he can give away five books to every. Oh, wow. Yeah, until supplies last. But he thinks they'll have enough to give five books to every single um, child that comes in That's so amazing. that they can read over the summer. So we'll pay for you, you and your child and a guest to get in. And then you'll get five books and then whatever else our ambassadors and our members have in store for you. So that should be an exciting game as well. Yeah, the, awesome. the players will be wearing um, special like book jerseys that night oh. as well. Oh, wow. um, and the money from that auction is going to go to help purchase book vending machines. I oh, love those book cool. vending machines. So, yeah. Yes. We're going to try to get one at the ballpark. <clears throat> oh, so. that'll be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. Yes, the book vending machines, if you haven't seen them go online, they're fantastic. It yeah. really is just like a book vending machine. Good. And there's mm -hmm. little libraries all over the place. And um, we're very hopeful to, to get lots of kids this year. Last last year, we've always made it for um, back, to school, back, to school. back to school, but it was school already started. But it was always for employees of schools, whether you were the, you know, the school bus driver or worked in the lunchroom. And then we did we added um, first response. Now we're just like, just just you and a, you and a child. We just want to get every. We do, we do other nights, so yeah. we do a first responders night on its own, and we do Military, teacher appreciation yeah. and yeah. those type of things. So this it's is too much to lump us. it all into to one big. Yeah. yeah. So um, join us on May twenty seventh. Just bring a kid, and you get in free, and then we'll give that kid some books. Yeah. All right. Good. Stlucymets.com for a mm -hmm. full schedule of everything going on. There's community nights. There's so many ways to get involved and advertise at the Mets Stadium, which is a great thing to do because you're supporting the community because there's not a single nonprofit that the Mets don't touch, I would have to say. And um, we just did a groundbreaking at um, a ribbon cutting, actually, at the Jetty Park. The, the JC Park. JC. Why do I keep yeah. on it? The Jetty it's Park. It's close. Because you're thinking you of something the Jetty else. on the yes. <laughs> but JC Park, where we have um, the first park of its nature in the area where it is accessible to all kids. And so that was a great thing. And the Mets donated quite a bit of money to that. And thanks to Michelle Franklin again, oddly enough, because she was the volunteer coordinator. Yes, she was. Yes. She did a wonderful job. I know. <laughs> I will imagine? say, though, I did not realize 
how much we would actually be building. Physically working. So, you, so Michelle would say, okay, we're going to have a chamber say. day. You're going to volunteer to build. And then you get there and guess what? You're building. You're like, <laughs> you're like pounding using and drills yes. and sawing. Like, and I really hope that ramp is still holding <laughs> strong right now because Lauren was responsible for the ramp. So <laughs> just be careful. I'm pretty sure it passed permitting. <laughs> Maybe somebody I checked your work. So. I would assume I would hope somebody so would came through. Uh, but you did have oversight, like everybody had a contractor, but she knows me well enough to know I was just in charge of traffic control. You no, you, you did the bug spray. I did the bug spray too. <laughs> I may have slightly poisoned myself, but yes. That was very, though, there were a lot of Yeah, it was a fun time. Day. So out at JC Park, out on Hutchinson <coughs> Island, go check it out. It really is an amazing thing. So we appreciate that as well. And of course, to the staff here in the studio. So with that, um, thanks for coming, everybody, and we will see you next time. Have a great day. Yeah.